But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Let me know please if you have any difficulty. Um, you know, the title we changed a little bit. We were going to talk about the throne of Allah. Still we will talk about the throne of Allah, nothing changed. Uh, because I opened my YouTube and then I found the video made by Mimi Hijab. And Mimi Hijab, as usual, trying to duct tape his prophet. You know, uh, it's very embarrassing. And... Uh, that we have a religion their prophet he spoke his words he said his words it's accepted for the last 1400 years and now the muslims who they cannot deny those words they try to duct tape what their prophet he did as a pupu and but now uh, mimi hijab he is doing the same pupu supposedly he is trying to be a smart person you know like you know, like Mimi Hijab, who is going to fix everything, you know, uh, we will see now. Uh, but Mimi Hijab, you know, with his uh, uh, weird way of uh, refuting people or trying to make himself a person who knows religion. Always when I see this person, who the Muslims now making videos about him that he is a bully and he is just a, you know, a very low trashy person. You can watch the whole video from the beginning to the end and you will find not a single word in this video. It is not coming from a Muslim website. And this dummy trying to claim that he is the one who is going to teach the Muslims. Exactly, word by word. Exactly, word by word. He just make it in English. I mean, even aren't you ashamed to claim that you are the one who is going to teach Muslims what it's meant? And then you copy an article written by somebody many years ago, claiming it is you who is teaching them. At least I say, I did read this article and I'm going to show you. <laughs> word by word, even the verses he quoted is from there. <laughs> I mean, nothing is missing. <laughs> anyway. He lived as a potato, he will never come as a tomato, you know, the, the bully. So, but here now Mimi Hijab, he is supposedly a genius, and he is going to fix the problem by reading this article. And now if you are a Muslim, you are going to really agree. I mean, come on. Have you ever heard of a Muslim don't agree with a Muslim? Unless they start bullying each other? Let us see what Mimi Hijab is speaking about the sun going under the throne of Allah. Go, Mimi. 
spheres spheres or the inanimate objects is nothing but going against the Quran and a misunderstanding of the entirety of the Quran. So the prostration is not a prostration like, you know, where you put your head on the floor or the fact that prostration requires stationary action from the human actor. In fact, with different um, uh, species, different animals, different inanimate objects, different spheres, the, the prostration does not in any way need to be correlated with such human prostration. It's not like the sun is growing arms and a forehead and is throwing itself on the floor. Stop, you idiot. You see, their prophet, he say prostration, they say uh, it is not putting her hands down in the floor. Are you stupid or what? Are you really stupid or what? First of all, all of us we knew that the sun does not hands have has hands. So where you brought the word hands from? So if you are saying it is not a prostration, and then later he will say to you, you know, actually before he quoted the verses from the Quran, he says, well, you know, uh, uh, the Quran says that uh, everything in this earth, and he is copying again the the article we showed you. He said everything, which is from the article again, everything prostrate to Allah, or prays to be to Allah, not prostrate, sorry. sorry. Uh, let me see which verse he was quoting, just to be sure. And he did read it wrong, but he, 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 he tried to correct himself. Uh, let me get the verse. <laughs> I mean, at least, at least tell the people you are stealing articles, you coward. What a potato. Yeah. So he copy, he copy, and actually, I will, I'm not going to look for the verse, by the way. You know, uh, I'm going to go to the article and I will copy from the article the verses he quote. <laughs> The copy paste knowledgeable person. So we go here and we post this verse who he quoted. I'm not going to play the whole video because you know then they will flag your videos and they are covered. Chapter 17, verse number 44. <clears throat> it says here that the seven uh, heavens and the earth and all therein glorify him, and there is not a thing but glorifies his praise. But you don't understand their glorification or the way they speak. So when you quoted this verse, why you didn't show the people what this verse mean? As long as this verse is going to read us to understand how the sun act. And this one have nothing to do with being prostrating. This is about praising. However, if I do this, And I say, okay, you know what? The sky, the earth, is that metaphorical thing or really they do prostrate themselves? We will find that they do really, sorry, they, they do really praise, they talk. Rocks, they talk. Food, praise Allah. Even the Muslim, they claim that they hear the sound of the food when they are eating. So this potato, he copied a, 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 a verse from the article, not knowing that this article will get him busted more than is going to help. What if we go right now and read the interpretation for this verse? Is it really that those rocks, even the food we cooked already, uh, stones, object, is it really truly they do? Praise Allah, or it's a metaphorical thing. They really praise Allah. If we go and, you know, like if, if I don't know if we have any Muslims here in the chat. And we ask them, what do you think about this scam trying to fool people saying that this is not really a real thing? 
they are not talking as you think. The same as he said that the son is not going to go and put her hands under the throne. As if the son anyway have hands and nobody and nowhere even his prophets say that the son has hands. The point is the son is going under the throne. And then we go and read the article. We do not even need to play the video. All what we need to do is just to read the article which he is answering from. We will find that the Muslim trying to hide the reality that their prophet, he made a very stupid mistake by claiming that the son is going. Because remember, the hadith he was reading, or you know, we are talking about, where Muhammad, he said, the son goes and during the sunset time. Goes and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. And not only that, you know, there's more details of this. Because when Muhammad, he spoke about the son, going under the throne of Allah, he gave us way more details than, than just going and prostrating. The son is going to ask for permission to go back. We read in this hadith, the following. And he was reading exactly this one, Al-Bukhari, which they cannot deny. This is why they are stuck with it. You read here, it says, do you know where the sun goes? And this is between two brackets at the time of the sunset. I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. He said it goes, i.e. travel till prostrate itself underneath the throne and take permission to rise again. So now the, 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 you know, the argument, instead of saying, is the sun going anywhere? Now the, the argument is, is the sun putting her hands under the throne? <laughs> and remember now, he will say to you, well, you know, uh, uh, the prophet, uh, I wish I can play the whole video, but you know those cowards. You know them. Even though I can play more, but I'm sure they will, they will, they will try to play their, their, their tricks because we are exposing them badly. Is the sun going metaphorically or the sun going physically? The answer is yes, the sun is going physically. Is that happen something like once a year or once a century? Or this is something happen every day? And this is why it's mentioned during the sunset time. Obviously the sunset playing the role here because he's asking, do you know where the sun goes? This is, was not about eclipse or, uh, uh, you know, like it's, it is something happen every day, sunset, where the sun goes. The guy he said to Muhammad what Muhammad loved to hear, Allah and his prophet knows best. And this is what Muhammad, this is why Muhammad he liked to speak like this, because he loved to hear that he is the one knows best. This man he worship himself. So the sun obviously is going physically, not metaphorically. You will see here the same as written in the article. Mimi Hijab is reading the same. He starts saying like, okay, the, the animals don't walk like the human and etc. And uh, uh, the, the, you know, the fish, like here there's more details. He is trying to make the article in 10 minutes. He copy exactly the same. Number four says, don't think that the sun is going to bow down like we bow down. Don't think, this is exactly what he said. You know, but he is using his own, he's, he's translating the article. We are using just, you know, Google translation, as you see. Don't think that the sun, when it's prostrate, is like us. Okay, how then? It, is, it was necessarily for our prostration to stop moving for a period of time. And the stop is necessity 
to in order to achieve the the character of prostration. So how does sun prostrate? If the sun is not stopping there, then why your prophet saying it will ask to rise again for permission to rise again? So the prostration of the sun was about the sun going under the throne, and she is going down. This is why I will ask to rise. You will see here it says, till it prostrate itself under the throne. So that the throne is the location. Which underneath of it, not above it. Now in order to understand this, we have to connect this to other verse or to other hadith Muhammad he said, and we are very thankful for Muhammad making a lot of poo-poo as usual. If you remember, there is, a, there is a verse in the Quran. It says that the sun set in a muddy water or boiling water. And that is a spring of water. The Muhammad and they try to defend this one too and they try to duck David. But Muhammad, he keep making poo-poos and the Muslims are out of duct tape. So here the Muslims, they say, well, it, this is from the perspective of Zul Qurnayn, the one who saw, but the one who is reporting the story is Allah. So why you are saying a word is not there? You see, can Allah, can't Allah say, if Allah is the one who is talking and obviously there's no Allah, can't he say, well, you know what, this is a, a Zul Qurnayn, he thought, very simple word, I mean, just say, he thought, he did not say that. He says, he, he, he keep going until he found the setting place of the sun and he found it, you know, as, as in English, when you say, uh, this guy, he found this, it's mean it's a find. It's not a, it's not a, 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 a mirage. He found something, it's a found. And he gave us details it's not Zulqarnayn saying, I found it. It's Allah now talking, saying, well, he found it there. And then we go in the hadith and we will find more dumb, stupid hadith of Muhammad, as usual. Where people like Mimi, they read the article trying to make themselves knowledgeable. But they cannot cover all the lies of their prophet and they are out of duct tape. And this is Muhammad himself saying, what the verse in the Quran saying. I was sitting behind Allah Messenger, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, it set in a spring of warm water. Now the Muslim, they will say to you, well, this is different from the other one. Like the date is there, like here we have the spring of warm water. It's the same. Obviously the one who is quoting the story is quoting part of the story, what Muhammad said, not the whole story. If we connect them together, we will find that the sun going under the throne of Allah, prostrating itself under the throne. And if we ask ourselves, what is under the throne? We will find that under the throne, there's Allah, thrown in the top of the water. And that will give us a complete image of what Muhammad is saying. So what is under the throne? There is water. Take a note. Under the throne, this is Sahih. This is all is Sahih. Muslim cannot play games where it says, oh, this is not true. All of this is very authentic. Allah throne is above the water. And what make it more funny, what more stupid of Muhammad, that he confirmed that before Allah created anything, 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 even the sun, his throne was above the water, which means there was water, 
before the sun is exist. As you see here, Muhammad saying, and this is Sahih, that Muhammad said, God rec uh, recorded the fates of all creatures 50,000 years before creating the heaven and the earth, and his throne was upon the water. So before any creation, 50,000 years, and here you ask yourself, what stupid idiot you are to say 50,000 years, and yet there is no time, because time start with the existence of the object. Otherwise, if there is a time for God, if there is 50,000 years for God, and here, this is not metaphorically. That's why he's giving you the exact number, 50,000 years. But the important for us here, that the throne of, the throne of Allah is, is swimming in the top of the water. Now we go to the hadith, we will find that this is in total agreement. With this hadith, the sun going under the throne. And under the throne, the sun is going to sit in the water. And what is under, what is, what water we are talking about? That is the spring of boiling water. Is it clear? Did we connect the images together? So the sun is going, you see all those hadith, they share the same thing. The sun is going, and that's alone proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Because the sun is going nowhere. So the Muslims in order, the Muhammadan, in order to make you stay away from the stupidity of this, they start speaking about how, how the sun prostrate. Who cares how the sun prostrate? Look what stupid your prophet is. The sun goes nowhere. Especially the hadith make it so clear. The sun will go under the throne and will take a permission to rise again. So here we have the sun moving from point A to point B. And the point B, it must be down. As you see, it says rise again. And the sun is not in continue moving. As they say in the article and this potato he was saying in his video. Because if it's in continue moving, there's, then there is no need for permission. If she is moving already, or we can't call it she. You know what I'm saying? If the sun is continue moving, it's automatic thing happening. Then what the permission for? So the sun is not moving. The sun is going in the water. And after it goes in the water, it's going to ask for permission. She will sleep the night there. And then it's going to be permitted. And this is what happen, will occur or reoccur every day. Until one day, the sun, which is repeating the same order, going every day to prostrate itself under the throne of Allah, the sun will not be permitted. There's no permission for it to go in scores. And here you see another stupid popo of Muhammad. According to Muhammad, the sun is going to go and change direction. How you can fix that now? How you can fix that? I'm going to open my Skype if there is any Muhammad that would like to call us. Just to give you opportunity, you know, we are the same, we are not the same as those Abdul who uh, say things and, you know, you know there's no need to, uh, like, to prove it wrong or to prove it uh, right or uh, to argue and to prove me wrong. No, we will give you a chance to prove us wrong if you can. But how you can? It's a challenge for all those Muhammadan. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us? My Skype is open. And maybe you can ask yourself why in the world this Mimi Hijab is taking a stupid article and this article actually proven to us again that Muhammad is a fraud. Because look what you, what you just said. 
when you quote for me that verse from the Quran, let us close some pages. We have too many pages here. <laughs> When you quote for me to explain how the sun do the prostration, people need to ask themselves, what does this have to do even with prostration? You know, what do you see the word prostrate itself here? But this is what the article is saying. The article used this verse, what he can do, what he can do. He said that object, they glorify things, they glorify God by their own way, but it's not real, like, you know, it's not like real, like they are talking, but is it really this is what their prophet said? Or this guy is making things up? Any Muslim? Isn't it his a prophet says that the stones, there is a stone in the way, in his way, always she greet him as she say, Assalamu alaikum, O Prophet of Allah. Isn't it in Sahih al Bukhari, it says that even when we pray, when we eat, we hear the food praising Allah? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupidity farther than this? Those guys, the Muslims, when they are eating, they hear the food praising Allah. Hey Muslims, as long as this is the case, you know, you showed us how the cat is not walking in the Quran, and we, we got you busted with that. What about you record the food praising Allah? So when this idiot, he quote those verses, to prove something, he got himself in more trouble things. And as you see, this is Sahih Bukhari. Who is a Muslim gonna do an experiment for us? and record the food praising Allah. I want to hear it. Praising is, is not literal. Here we go. This is a smart Muhammadan. He is trying to fix it. Are you a Muhammadan or a Hindu? Sometimes you are a Hindu, sometimes you are a Muhammadan. I think this guy is a, is a, is a, is a troll. It is not uh, literal, literal Christian prince. It's not literal. It says we hear the, 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 the we hear them, you idiot. <laughs> what do you mean? Literal? We hear it. We heard. We heard. Christian prince. This is not literal. It says we heard. He's not saying the food just glorifying Allah. He said we we heard. And this is exactly even what Ibn Kathir says. So this idiot, when he quote this verse, now we, you are in more trouble. Chapter 17, verse number 44. We can go to Ibn Kathir right away. <laughs> we heard. <laughs> we what? We, we heard. That's good. Muslims hear a lot of things. Try to duct tape your cult. You need to work harder. This is the verse, and this is Ibn Kathir. And I can show you, actually, the Arabic. The Arabic is very clear for me. But let us see here. 
What Ibn Kathir is saying, did he say anything about when we are eating? Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. We used to hear, you know, the tasbih, the praise. I mean, look how stupid the translation. I mean, you translated the whole thing, and now you 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 did not translate the word tasbih. Supposed to you cannot translate tasbih now, which means praise. So we used. It's not like one time in like an in, in incident. <laughs> we hear in what sense? Get out of here, guys. We hear in what sense? What in what sense? This guy he here is asking in what sense? I have no time for kids. Just get lost. In what sense? It says we hear. You tell me. Since when hearing? They are talking about they are praising God. And the verse saying, you don't understand what they are glorifying. Do you see it says you don't understand? It doesn't say even you don't hear it. You understand not their glorification. And then they quote for us that when we eat food, we hear it. And then you say to me, it doesn't mean they hear it. And it's not literate. Anything is embarrassing to this garbage cult, the Muslims they try to strip it out of what their prophets say. Who of you can show me a hadith? Muhammad, he says, none of this is real. It's a metaphorical thing. Is that fair, guys? If there is such a thing, then you are right. Otherwise, your prophet is saying it clearly. So when your stupid prophet says the sun goes, why you Muslim you say it doesn't go? How come the sun goes for Muhammad, for the Muslim means something else? Do we have any Muhammadan who have a long beard he would like to call us? My Skype is open. Anyone? So what the practice of the Muhammadan these days, Muhammad, he says something, we try to make it mean something else. Can you sponsor what you say? You quote for me this verse. This verse has proven Muhammad to be again a stupid idiot. The food is praising Allah and he can hear it. When Muhammad, he says, when he go in the street, he hear a rock, and the rock say to him, Assalamu alaikum. Was that a metaphorical, specific rock? Hmm? It was fine with the hadith. Did Muhammad really heard or he's making things up? If you want to say to me metaphorical, people will die laughing at you. Where your prophet he said this is metaphorical. How come only you Muslims you come today after 1400 years from Muhammad Pupu, suddenly it is metaphorical. According to the hadith, each time Muhammad he go anywhere, anywhere, rocks, trees, any object, those things will say to him, Assalamu alaikum, O Prophet of Allah. Let me see if I can find the hadith. I'm trying just to find it. Hold on. I have it in Arabic, actually. Okay, let's see this one if we can find it. Oh, 
Oh, this one is Daif. You know, the funny thing, by the way, in the Muslims, uh, English translation, they add Daif as they wish. If we go to the Muslim Fatwa website, we will find they are using the Hadith to prove the point. I mean, can you believe it? And this is the proof that they are a bunch of liars when they say da'if, we don't accept, because if this is da'if, I just copy the hadith from here, I post it there, and they are using it to prove it. To prove their point. But there they say da'if. Do you see the fraud of this religion? Anything is an embarrassment. So in the Arabic website, this hadith is good. In the English website, it's da'if. And by the way, da'if is still accepted, but just to make it like, to make you think maybe, maybe not. And we have tons of reference. Where it says, not even a rock, not even a tree. But yet it says, Assalamu Alaikum, O Messenger of Allah. Even Muhammad, he claimed that there is a specific rock in Mecca. This is a specific rock. Each time he walked by this rock, this rock speak to him and says, Assalamu Alaikum. And this stone used to greet him by saying Assalamu Alaikum before even he learned how to say Assalamu Alaikum. Because remember, when Muhammad, he became a prophet suddenly, the angel Jibreel never said to him Assalamu Alaikum. Right away he starts saying to him, read, which is very weird. Muhammad, he said, and this is Sahih Hadith, as you see, Sahih here and Sahih here, wherever you go, it is Sahih. Indeed, in Mecca, there is a rock that used to give me salam during the night of my advent, and I know, I know it even now. And not to forget to mention that Muhammad, he mentioned that the black stone is going to witness, and this is li literally because he said it's going to have eyes and tongue, and is going to witness for the one who hold it or kiss it. So, the Muhammad, when they try to fix the garbage of Muhammad, using duct tape, they got him more into trouble and more embarrassment. If we go back to the hadith, which is, me, is speaking about the sun going, you will see that even Muhammad, he is explaining a verse in the Quran. So when one day the sun, he asked for a permission to go in his course, and it will not be permitted. It will be ordered to return whence it has come, so it will rise from the west. So, according to this, and this is why I wanted to, to speak about this description of the throne of Allah. According to this, the throne of Allah is in the west. <laughs> do you see it? Guys, do you understand how I get this? The conclusion? Where is the throne of Allah? It is location, located in the west. It's not in the east. How we knew that? The sun goes every day at the sunset and at the throne of Allah. Correct? Now, the throne of Allah here is not, we do not know the location based on the first 
lines of the hadith. But when Muhammad, he continued making poo-poo, there is more details to come, where he said here, when the son asks for permission to go in its course as usual, it will not be permitted, but it will be ordered to return whence it has came. But the son came to the throne from the west. Why? Because the east is where the sun rises, and the west is where the sun rises, set, right? So the sun now is trying to rise again from the east as usual, but Allah will not permit it. Allah will tell her to go backward steps. <laughs> uh, okay, somebody is a Muslim, he's saying, I cannot comprehend. Okay, why you don't let us see? Let us call you. Shall we call you? Maybe you can comprehend. Maybe you are a smart person. We are not, my friend. What he can do? Hey, let me call you. I cannot comprehend, man. This is the opinion of our friend here. Muhammad and in Skype, texting me. He is saying we cannot comprehend. Yeah, he will not answer. Call decline. Call decline. Do you see the call declined? You cannot comprehend. And the funny is saying, he is saying to us, this is what explained by people from the seventh century. Well, your prophet is the one who is explaining it, not the people. And your Quran was from the seventh century, so what we can do with it? Oh, he cut the line by mistake. Let us call him then. I'm just muting the, the, the ring so you will not bother you until he answer. Hello? Okay, my friend, you said we cannot comprehend. Explain to us what do you mean? You're giving a lot of examples of okay. what people spoke about uh, 1400 years back. Right. You need to put yourself in their shoes too. No problem. And? So when uh, they are explaining stuff to people from 1400 years back, okay. they will understand simple terms which, uh, which, which is easy for them to understand. Like for example, mm. if you take, uh, go 100 years back and say, I can speak to somebody and watch him on YouTube and look at his face also at the same time. They will laugh at you, right? Mm. Okay, I will give you an example. In the Bible it says that the earth is hanged on nothing and it is a globe. Well, people, they can laugh at the one who said that at that time. Who care? Are you going to tell me, are you telling me that your prophet was giving us false information just because people at that time, they are dummy? Oh. See, I'm trying to... Justify what you're saying with the examples you're quoting. You're going to some other reference now. No, I'm not going to any reference. If Allah Prophet, he speak, you see, when the guy he asked, uh, when Muhammad, he asked the guy, he said to him, do you know what the son said? Muhammad did not say, I do not know. He did not say only Allah knows. Uh, the guy, he said to him, Allah and his prophet knows best. And the one he's voluntarily talking is Muhammad. He's the one who is mentioning the topic. It's not even the guy. So he said to him, Allah and his apostle knows best. So Muhammad here, he claimed that his knowledge is coming from Allah. Now, let me ask you, my friend, if Allah is God, you are a Muslim, right? Hello? Hello? He stopped talking for some reason. I don't know why. Hello? Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? I hear you now. Okay. So listen carefully. So when when uh, when the guy said to your prophet, Allah and his apostle know best or better, Muhammad right away he says, it goes, i.e., trouble, uh, till prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. So what the point of this? Why you are saying false information? The guy did not even ask you. 
The man did not even ask. Why you are giving false information? According to you, the reason is, at that time, people are naive. Are you saying to me that Muhammad was naive too? And this is what, like, naive explained to a naive? I'm waiting for your answer. Are you there? Do you want me to hang up on you? You have nothing to say? Hello? 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 Yeah, I'm talking to you. What happened? Okay, my friend, I, I'm not, I don't want to waste my time. Um, do you see the, how, how even they come with the conclusion? All right, go ahead. Yeah. Now, again, I'm trying to understand and see, like, you are explaining a lot of stuff. Okay. Even, I don't have any offense against you explaining anything, but I'm just trying to tell you that you need to comprehend that what he's explaining from a time which is 1400 years back mm. okay and you're trying to explain the same things now with the today's understanding which is not fair you see no, you, you see, I, see the, the problem is people no, no, who are no. from that century no you see the problem is you don't understand that we are talking about somebody who he claimed that he got his knowledge from god so time doesn't count for him if i receive my knowledge from god then what difference is going to make if i'm speaking 10000 years ago or 10 billion years ago if God is the one who has told me, and God is, exists before time, so my knowledge have nothing to do with that time and this time. This is the knowledge of God. That doesn't make a difference. That doesn't make a difference. No, it makes a huge exactly. difference. No, if God, it, let me ask you, is, is your God, okay, are you saying your God, are you saying now that your God, he gave wrong explanation? You, gave, you said something, let me explain, what, let me tell you how foolish what you're saying is. Okay, go ahead. You're saying that because God said something, it has to be correct like that. Okay, now mm. go back to the same example again, which is you're saying like God, you're saying God said that, right? Okay, for example, if God had to tell Muhammad at that time mm. that, you know, you will one day you'll have a mobile in front of you, you can see the other person face to face and talk to him. How do you think Muhammad will explain that to the people? What does this have to do with the mobile now? We are talking about the and sun. They, it is something they can see. They, the mobile yeah. is not something anyone knows. So what does this have to do with this? Who is the foolish here? We are talking about the sun. Everybody at that time knew the sun, don't they? Don't they, they see it every day. So it is yeah. not something new. It's not something mysterious. It is the sun, and the sun is disappearing during the sunset. So Muhammad is trying to explain what happened when the sun goes. Where is the sun goes going? Well, why we don't see it at night? So when you say to me, well, what if Allah told Muhammad about the mobile? That is very silly because first of all, why you want to tell him about the mobile anyway? Secondly, and why Muhammad volunteered to talk about it? He is the one who volunteered to talk about the sun, the sun going, and he is the one now who is giving details. So it's not like a guy, you know, somebody asked him, he did not know what to say, he gave his own opinion. As you see that you Muhammadan, you believe that Muhammad, he speak only by inspiration from Allah. Is that correct? Yeah, you finished? Is that what you agree? Do you agree that Muhammad speak only by inspiration from Allah? You asked me a you asked me a hundred questions and you want to I did not ask any question. This, this, this is the only question I ask. I did not ask one. No. I said, don't you, you, you went believe? On about don't the mobile, you believe? You went no, on I was this, first. You I, was explaining, that, I was explaining. And now you come I was to explain to my, one topic, which is I something else. I was explaining my answer for you. I did not give you a question. I, I, I said to you that Muhammad. Yeah, but you your that, explanation is not like a conversation. Your explanation is you're telling a story. And then friend, after you come friend, to somebody, you arrive me, at some other It's point. not me who made the explanation. It's your prophet. It's, it's immaterial. It's immaterial. What whatever material? Whatever he can explain, okay, you know what? whatever he can explain, I want you to he help can explain me. only in okay, a way that the people of I want you, to help me. I want you, I want you, understand. My friend, I want you to help me. When Muhammad, he quote the verse from the Quran, and he told all this story before he explained the Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38. I want you, by being the smart person, and obviously one smart like you, explain to me how Muhammad connected the movement of the sun during the sunset, and he is quoting a verse from the Quran saying, and the sun runs into a degree. What do you think? One second, I'm just trying to adjust the volume here so that uh, I don't hear myself. 
twice. Just to mute uh, YouTube. Keep yourself yeah. in Skype. Muted? Is YouTube muted now? My, my friend, my YouTube, my, YouTube, not my YouTube, your, your YouTube. Because, so you will not have yeah, to Yeah, my voice. YouTube. Yeah, mute yeah, your YouTube. YouTube. Is it muted now? I don't hear you. Is it I, muted I, now? I hear only your voice. Good. You, for me, your voice okay, is fine. fine. Yeah. So now, it's, it's me, okay let, now? Let, let me repeat my question. When Muhammad, he says that this is the explanation, the statement of Allah, interpretation of Allah's statement, and the sun runs its fixed course for a term and decree. How we can connect the word of Allah, which is a Quran, that the sun runs every day in the decree, and this is why Muhammad explained the sunset, how you can make that both match without coming to a very huge, stupid scientific error. Go ahead. Yes, exactly. Obviously, the people of that time, they mm -hmm. understood it. You don't understand it now. I don't understand it now. But the people of that time, they understood it. That's why the religion has spread so much now. The people of that time understood it. How they understood it? However, they understood it. That's not my problem. That's not your problem. You're trying to pinpoint something else. But uh -huh. at that time, the people did understand okay. it. How your, they followed him. how your prophet understood it? However, he understood it. However, he explained it to the people. It doesn't really matter. But people understood it. People it followed so, him. So why are you are calling me? If it doesn't matter for you, it doesn't matter for me, it doesn't matter for them, it doesn't matter for everybody. Are you from the doesn't matter party in India? Yes, because because you're giving wrong explanation here. That's well, why. I'm not explaining. Here we go. It's in front of you. It's your problem, yeah, he says, the sun goes, okay, wrong. I want you to help me, my friend, my friend, my friend, my explanation is wrong, I want you to help me. The sun, he, he said, the sun goes every day and prostrate under the throne of Allah, and then one day will ask for permission and Allah will not give it permission, and he will order to go to, from the west, go back from the west. Explain that to me, go ahead. Okay, very I, simple, you, okay. th you think God can't do that? You so, think God so, can so, do that? Happened. So, okay, thank you. So you agree that... No, answer me. So, answer me first. Answer me. Do you think God can't do that? Which God? Your God? He cannot do anything. Whichever God. There's only one God. You think God can't do well, that? Well, here we go. Your God do not even know where the sun goes. Answer me. Can God do that My or friend, not? No, he cannot do that. Your God cannot do that. Prove right. it to me. Then Secondly, he cannot be God. You see, then he if, cannot your be God, God. if your God, in, then order, he cannot in be God. order to be able to do then that. Then he cannot be God then. Listen, listen. Right? In, in, order, in order to do, to do this that. This is your, your own argument. Listen, listen, you listen, 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 listen. Your listen, own listen. argument. You say your that God, if your God, God cannot do something, he's not God. To me, but then again, okay, you contradict your own self. And you say that God... Can do only certain things, and God cannot do certain things. No, I did not things. say that. No, I did, not, I did not say that. I said you're God. There is only one God, CP. Oh, my friend, this is, your, God. this is your own statement. If you statement. don't believe that, yeah, I believe this, there's only this one is God. Your, I believe this, this is, is true. Problem. I believe this is true. This is, this is true. I agree with you. There's only one God, but this is not Allah. And the proof in front of your eyes. Because when you say to me that Allah, He can do that, He can do that. He can He can send the sun back from the uh, from the uh, from the west, but the sun doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> That is your view of it. Like, for example, if you're a painter what and you're of, painting... What, what my listen view to of... me, listen to me. Listen, yeah, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Let me explain. Mm. If you're a paint, if you're a giraffe, okay? And you're, you're painting a picture. Mm. Imagine the giraffe, his head is on top and he's painting a picture of a lion. What will that lion look to him like? He's looking so, at it from top. So in this case, who is the giraffe? Your prophet is the giraffe or your God is the giraffe and Muhammad is the lion? I don't He's know. It. See, see how your thinking goes when I say... No, say, I'm not, you know, because what does have to do with this, my friend? Did Muhammad give, a, a, like, a point of a view which is not real, taking it from Allah, or he gave a point of a view which is real? He gave a point of view which was real for the people of the 14th, uh, sorry, for the 7th century. So are you saying... As simple uh, as that. Okay, so you are saying the Quran is not matched for today, it's a stupid book for today. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying this was for the people of the seventh century. No problem. For people now, okay. so the people now, the look at it century, like how you are looking at it differently and finding so much of faults with it. Okay. In your point of view, you're not putting it to the seventh century point of view. Okay. Let, let me let me let me go with you. Why Muhammad did not say something very smart? And as long as he is a prophet, and the believers they believe in him anyway, whatever he say. As an example, your prophet he says, when you believe, when you convert to Allah, Allah will make you, will have you, give you endless penis. I mean, which one is a crazy endless penis or the sun? You know, just tell them the sun doesn't go anywhere. So you believe where, in the endless. Where did you, 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 you believe. Listen, where, where did he mention like that? Listen, endless penis. Where did he mention that? 
If I show it to you, what you will do? Show it to me. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I haven't seen that. I haven't heard of that before. Okay, let us you see. Show, you will show it to me from where? Some, some, uh, some other person talking something again, which is going to be again that person trying to explain something in the terms of which people can understand from that time. So at that time, you tell people to, to that you will have endless penis to explain what? Well, show me that first. You're talking no, about I'm, something which you're not showing I to me. show you, because, show you, me. because your, your game is that this is goes from yeah. that time. So I'm asking you, when you're a prophet, he mentioned that you will no. have an endless penis. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That was not what I said. See, you changed. Okay. You didn't uh, get what yeah, I said. Tell me again. I said what, tell me again. Because maybe, I, maybe, maybe oh. I got you wrong. Maybe I got you wrong. Go ahead. Yes. Hmm. It was explained in hmm. such a way that the people of that time could understand. Not for that time. You get it? It was explained in such a way for the people of that time to understand so it. It was a wrong explanation, you mean? No, it was the right explanation. I gave you the example from the very beginning, CP. I told you a mobile phone example, which I gave you. Okay, if you uh -huh. hundred years back, you go and you you talk about a, a mobile phone and see the people will laugh at you, right or wrong. Uh -huh. But uh, so show me like that. But fourteen hundred years we are, back, when, we are, when, talking, when we are, to we are people, talking, we are talking about a real object which is known. It's not something. If Muhammad he say, uh, people they will be wondering what is, what is that, right? I mean, Muhammad, he is exactly. already... Exactly. Yeah, I'm just giving you an example, see. You don't okay. have to take it literally. No problem. It's no, just no, an example. No, pro no problem. No problem. So, you Muslims, everything Muhammad, he says, is unseen anyway. And many of it is crazy. Like, uh, Suleiman, he have a flying carpet. And uh, he have a ring. And he have, uh, you know, uh, he died uh, He die standing and almost for a year. And nobody noticed because he was holding a stick. How come those things is okay for you? And it's for that time. Is that is it for that time or this is stupid? Sorry, but for that time. I don't know the context of why and what those uh, verses were released for. What do you mean? What, what the context? Suddenly now you don't know the context. Yeah, I don't know why those verses were released and how was the context. I I wouldn't be able to understand that because I'm not from that time. I have to be a scholar to go and uh, understand all those things. I'm just trying to explain okay, to you so now, very, very so simple So now we things. have to be scholars to go and understand what it's mean, right? That's your view of it again. My friend, it is, but now we are reading from the scholars. You see, okay, can you tell me one of the yeah, scholars? Again, can, you, can, reading, you tell me, uh, can you tell me the scholar who did not agree with this? Okay, you're talking about scholars from which time, from current time or from that time? But I thought the Which scholars. scholars are you talking I about? thought the scholars who would understand it is only the scholars from that time. Yes, yes, but scholars from that time explain things for people of that time to understand it as per what they knew so, at that time. So the point, Do you understand what that? What the point of the scholars at that time explain what it's meant at that time? If it is the same when it says at that time, so nothing changed. There's no explanation. I mean, why? No, even, you go to the modern why, scholars. Why, you go to the modern why scholars. Why even? Why even this one need explanation? I mean, how how clear it is. You where the, the sun goes, in that case. Why, where the sun goes, the sun goes under the throne of Allah. Uh, let me ask you: Is the throne of Allah have that's a size? A, that's, an, that's an image which you have to understand. Do Look at that image. Do the throne of Allah. Look at that image. Is the throne of Allah is something physical? Yeah, is I understand that. You will be repeating that, no, no, this no, from no, the let, beginning. Let us go to your understanding. You will be repeating this from the beginning. I heard I you. Go. I heard you. I will go. With I you. heard you from the beginning about this. Okay. okay? That image of the throne and the sun going up and down and under or whatever. That is an image which the people from the 7th century would mm. understand as per that explanation. But when you explain it in today's terms, we have gone much more advanced in the world. So mm. our knowledge, our technology has gone so, much more so advanced. You, you so for us saying, it looks funny. You are saying Allah at the 7th century, he gave us wrong information and purpose because at that time we were stupid. Who was explaining it at that time? The scholars. We're talking about the scholars, remember. Your prophet. Not, we're not talking about God. We're talking no, about the scholars. No, Allah is the one who explained it, not the scholars. The scholars, they, they just uh, they tell the naive like you what it's meant. That's all. Yeah. Even, even if it's God explaining it, then uh -huh. it's God is using the words which the people will understand from that time. Hmm. 
1400 years back. No problem. I will go with you. So Allah, he used words so we can understand at that time, but the word he used is became a cartoon. It's a stupid. So what the benefit of this? Now all, all that's anyone, your view. anyone, anyone, anyone who your believe, view. No, this is not my view. That's only Any, your anyone, view. Nobody else's anyone view. Anyone who believe in this now, he think the sun really goes and prostrate at the throne of Allah and ask for permission. And one day, and remember, this is something will happen in the future, in the day of judgment, the sun will ask for permission to come back and then Allah will not order it will not allow it to go back to go back and rise from the east he will order it to go and rise from the west how you explain that uh, you think god can't do that you think god can't do that see you are contradicting yourself so now you are Come saying on. so now you are saying this is true i'm not saying it's true i'm not saying you're it's false saying, i'm not saying, saying anything you, i'm only just, trying to just say do you think god cannot do that yes you think god cannot do that yeah but this is mean this is true so this what will happen yeah, but this is this. You have to answer yes or no first this before is you say if it's true or not. But this is mean. You this have is, to answer yes or no. This is. Did you answer yes or no? No, no. Your God cannot do that. Yes. I told you many times. Secondly, yes. secondly, how you can do something? It's not. It's not right. Uh, God, so, uh, God will not. Uh, God will uh, not. God is not a fairy tale story. He will say, uh, "Okay, and now I will uh, order you to go back from the from rise from the west." That is stupid uh, because this is this is not true. This is not what's happening. This is not what reality is. So the story here uh, presents for us that you have a God. He is a cartoonist, and he is a fool. And you are saying to me that we Muslim at that time in the seventh century we were we were a bunch of fool. So Allah decided to fool us by giving us false explanation. It have nothing to do with reality. This is not what I'm saying. You are twisting the things again now. Okay, tell me now, what the purpose of this story? <laughs> what the purpose of Allah telling us wrong information? If he keep his mouth shut, it's better than... No, it's the people of that time. They should understand what is the power but of Allah. They do Allah. not understand. They understand nothing. They understand... They, they understand yes, but now they, but they, now they got a fiction. They did not get the, the understanding. If they didn't understand, why are they the second biggest uh, religion in the world? If they didn't understand, as per Islam you. is the biggest religion the in the Buddhism world. Or the, so what? So, or the, so what is the, so what the, is the Christianity? The religion has to be. Islam now is the biggest religion in the world. Second biggest. <laughs> Second biggest. So that means yes. you are wrong. Then again, I mean, even you, even your logic is stupid because if it is how big it is, we are bigger. So you are now wrong based in your based in your logic. What, come on, don't use that. Who care about how many people they are? Even if they are one Muslim, if Islam is a true religion, it's a true religion. If there's a billion, who care? So I'm asking you now, when Allah He used such a logic and this logic mislead the people because now He mislead them. He did lie to them. The sun goes nowhere. What about Muhammad being smart and says, you know what, the sun goes nowhere. It is the earth is going around. You're saying, you're, you're saying mislead. And then you also you are agreeing with me. It's the second biggest religion in the world. Make up your mind, see. No, I am not agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with your logic. It's a stupid logic because you are trying it's to prove to logic, me. Right? You are trying it's, to prove to yes, me that you are. Simple. You are trying to prove to me that you are right because you are the second religion in the world. But this won't prove you right because but that prove you wrong actually. Because if the bigger one oh. is the right one, if the bigger one is the right one, that means we are the right and they are wrong. In Islamic Christianity, they are they oppose each other. So if it's about no, who is the big, we are the biggest. Bigger and you are, and you are, and is, who cares? Come on, speak to me as an adult. Bigger doesn't so, decide the truth. Listen, listen. Okay, so, CP, so size. Bigger doesn't decide the truth. Okay, no bigger problem. That's doesn't good. decide the truth. Okay, that's the good. Truth that's the truth is the truth. That's good. What is the truth here? Tell me the truth. The truth, there's only one God. Simple. This is not and a problem. Everybody, who it is, whether I mean, he's a how your he's God Muslim can be or Christian God, or, or Jainism or whatever, okay. well, he has to come back to the one God. Where will you go when you die, CP? Where will you go? My friend. Where will you go when you die? How your God. You go back to God, don't, right? Don't you go back to your creator. Don't give Simple. me about it, Richard. If I tell you about death, now you will die. Laughing. Your prophet, he said that when you die, there is somebody will go, there's 99 dragons will go inside your anus. You want to show me? Show you? Yeah, yeah, all this thing, all this, I've heard all this. Okay, your so, you're that, that that so you're a prophet, obviously. So you're a prophet. But you are, you're, you're missing prophet, the main point. You're a prophet. You're missing is, the main is, is point. Is it scaring you? Is it scaring you? Uh, making, you're missing, you're stories. going away from the main point. What main come point? Back, come listen, back, listen. come back to zero. Allah. Come back to zero. Your Allah. terms, come back to zero. Let us go back to zero. I will go back to zero. What yes. is the, what is I'm the telling you what that the What is the purpose of Muhammad lying here? He is lying, obviously. This is false. The purpose Why? of explaining things in what? words which the people from the seventh century but would this is understand the explanation doesn't make sense but to the you explanation now. Is false. And it makes sense to the people at the seventh century. Doesn't matter. It makes sense to who. It's false. What about he gave the right explanation? 
God. A prophet of God, my friend, a, a prophet of God, a prophet of God, do you care really, do you care really people, what people will say? You're a prophet. Have a nice day, CT. Carry on. Have a nice day. You will not understand what I'm saying. Thank you very much. No problem. But you are smart and you're a prophet for sure. You're a prophet with a chance to be. I'll continue listening to your show, so I'm here. No problem. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. No problem. We'll talk again later. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Bye-bye. Okay. So the excuse now, yeah, we agree that Muhammad he is making poo poo, but you know what? He don't mean to. He was just speaking to people at that time. People at that time they are stupid, so he have to act. To have, he have to be stupid like them. You're a prophet. Many times in the Quran, more than six times, he was accused that he is a crazy man. Now, accusing him to be crazy doesn't make him crazy. Unless he is. You mentioned to me the cell phone, right? But already they are accusing him to be crazy. So which one is better, accusing me crazy and say the truth, or accusing me crazy, any, crazy anyway, and I say that a lie? If Muhammad, he said, the sun goes nowhere, etc., you Muslim today will say, absolutely, and this is what you do today. You say, uh, there is a scientific uh, discovery in the Quran. How come Allah was here stupid in different places? There is a scientific discovery. You see the hypocrisy? Was it that time, 7th century too? All those verses, they are saying to Muhammad, you are a crazy. Actually, we are more than six times. I forgot the number. So, the excuse of this guy was speaking to people in the 7th century, that means his God was 7th century too. And this is what we say, that Muhammadan they try their best to duct tape their prophet. They are out of duct tape. If the excuse is, if Muhammad, he said to them how the sun really, what happened to the sun, in reality, or like based on science, then people will go crazy. What isn't this is more crazy? I mean, what's the point? Saying that the sun go under the throne. How come this one you believe it, but you will not believe that the sun is not going anywhere? It's the earth going around itself. That would be amazing to say. So what you are trying to say to me that your God Allah, he decided to say lies and fictions and stupid stuff just because at that time they won't understand anyway. But endless penis is understood. Women, her ass is one mile is understood. You will receive women in heaven, they have a big boobs is understood, nobody question. Your orgasm is 70 years is understood. 70 years orgasm? I mean, why? So I go to visit you today, I hear you, you know, having orgasm. I come a year after, still having orgasm, you can't open the door. I come 10 years after, still you are having orgasm. 50 years after, so you are having orgasm. So this is acceptable, and those, and this is the one, he, should, he cannot say the truth because the people cannot comprehend. You can comprehend the 70 years orgasm. I mean, wh where you will get all this sperm from? Are you connected to a pipe or something? Ah, I forgot, in the heaven of Allah, there is no sperm. So what's the point of this orgasm? <laughs> the Muhammadan, when they want, they are logical people, you know? They are people of science. And even they speak about the Big Bang. And then we go in the Quran, we will find that the Big Bang there is a big joke.
What kind of religion this religion is? Why a human being is so silly and so stupid? And now we have to duct tape this false prophet in order to keep people, you know, in their faith. Suddenly now it's not real. Suddenly it was for that century. I mean, every one of them, he give you his own duct tape. And then they wonder how in the world people are leaving Islam. I mean, this is the most stupid cult religion ever. And actually here, the beginning of a creation, I mean, look, Muhammad, you go, uh, this, is, this is a pure science, you know, the beginning of a creation, look at this. All of this, according to our friend here, Muhammad was saying stupid things because at that time they were stupid. Actually, the more Muhammad he speak, the more he make poo-poo. I mean, just think about anything the guy he said. Just use your brain for a second. The problem with the Muhammadan, because they worship this man, and nobody dare actually not to worship him. They will kill you right away. As an example here, people of Yemen, they came to Muhammad, and Muhammad, he said to them, The first of all, there was nothing but Allah. And then he created his throne. Do you see it, people? The first of all, there was nothing but Allah. And then what? Then he created the throne. So what is the second thing, the, the first thing of creation? People, what is the first thing of creation based on this? Somebody help me? Just to be sure that you guys are listening and focusing with us. What is the first creation based on this hadith? And this is Sahih Bukhari. This is very Sahih. The first thing there was Allah. There was nothing but Allah. And then he created the throne. So the first thing created is what? Somebody tell me. The throne. Thank you. Finally. But... Muhammad in different hadith, he said that the first thing Allah he created is the pen. And we can find this in the same book. I mean, this guy is mentally ill. Which one is correct? The first thing Allah He created was the pen. We move a few steps, we find that the first thing Allah created was a throne. Okay, we got it. People at that time, they are donkeys, as, as you claimed. But was Muhammad a donkey too? He did not know what Allah created first. And who in the world want to believe that there is a God, he created the pen and he told him to write? I mean, what a lazy God. I thought God, he said, B is going to be. Just say the right in B. There's no need for pen. Why he need tools? Why Allah need tools anyway? Pen is a tool. Just say everything written. Here we go. And why he need to write to himself? That's crazy. But as you see, this guy, he cannot maintain his mouth. He say things, he oppose himself. It's like this guy is just, you know, he cannot keep his mouth shut. He is a fraud. And he say things and none of them match. So the first thing Allah, he created, there was nothing. And then Allah created the throne. Okay, wonderful. His throne is above the, was above the water. Like how you just say the first thing Allah created was the throne. And then you say his throne was above the water. That means the water is not created by Allah. Do you see the stupidity? If the first thing Allah created is the throne, 
There was Allah, we got that. Okay, so the first of all, there was nothing. Do you see the word nothing? It's not me who's saying nothing, Muhammad say nothing. There was nothing but Allah, wonderful, only Allah there. Okay, great. Then Muhammad continue, and then he created the throne. Okay, and his throne was above the water. Where the water come from? You just said there was nothing. Watching Mr. Bean is way more. I mean, like there is a free movie. Sometime I watch on YouTube. There is a there is a guy. He is a blind, and there is a boy walking with him. They are going in the bus. The boy he make the blind man, you know, fell down, and they laugh, and then they went in the bus. But in the bus, both of them, their clothes is ironed and clean, but they just jump in the bus. Well, this is American movie, stupid movie. Nobody will count anyway. It's a comedy. I mean, the guy, he just fell in the mud and it was raining like crazy. And then they went inside the door of the bus and then they sit in the chair and then suddenly all their clothes is clean. What happened? Uh, because the audience are naive, right? Nobody will ask what happened, how this happened. Are you saying to me, Allah, Prophet is a uh, same? He considered that his audience are a bunch of idiots and nobody will notice. If you are an idiot, we are not. If you are dummy, we are not. Do we have any Mohammedan? Is this time is good, guys? Is this time is good for you? Is it good? I know it's not good for people in, in Europe because they just woke up or they are getting to wake up soon. But I'm not sure how, how good it is for many. Do we have any Muhammad want to say anything? Anyone? Yeah, we will try to make it like this time from time to time, just, you know, to be able to reach out to, you know, different location, territory, and, you know, like in Asia, India, etc. Any Muhammadan? And then when they see Muslims leaving Islam, listening to me, they say those, those aren't Muslim, those are fake. Are fake, brother. Who want to see this and he will not believe Islam? This is this is garbage, you know. Trying to duct tape what Muhammad he said, and then if we go to that to the story here, where he speak about how the sun, uh, you know, go and sleep under the throne of Allah, and you are trying to say to us. That, you know what, it's not really, it doesn't mean so, it is, uh, uh, you know, the, the Quran says everything praise be to Allah, but doesn't mean they are really praising by talking, and then we show you that it says in the hadith that even they hear the voice talking, praising Allah, even the rocks praising Allah, even the trees praising Allah. I can show you even hadith about the, the, the trees converting to Islam. Trees saying Shahada. The Prophet, he knew a rock which always salute him and say to him, Assalamu alaikum, Prophet. Isn't it? This is a clear sign that this man is mentally ill. And the hadith confirmed that Muhammad was bewitched. You know, if you if you see here the translation. Do you see, this is the Muslim translation, translation, chapter 15, verse number 6. Look what the translator, he said. This is a Muslim translator. They say, although to whom the message is being revealed, truly thou art mad. 
between two bracket possessed. The Arab at that time, anyone he act weird, they think he is under a spell. He is under a spell. And what make it more funny, when they say to him that you are mad, the word majnoon present being under a spell. The Muslim confirmed that. Can you believe it that there is people who follow a prophet, they themselves agree that he was under black magic? And he was under a spell, and other way he was possessed? We don't believe in the black magic thing. How we can take what this guy is saying for granted when this guy is obviously mentally ill? All reference written by Muslims, collected by Muslims, mentioned by even the wives of Muhammad, proven to us that Muhammad is mentally ill. Once the Prophet was bewitched, so he began to imagine that he had done a thing which in fact he did not. How many of us, we live in such a situation? I mean, if you have such a thing, you do not know, you, do, you can't differentiate between reality and illusion, but obviously you have a, a you know, a mental issue. A mental issue is a, is a real thing. It's not like, it's not a shameful thing for you if it happened to you. I mean, we can get sick. We can even born with something defect or something. That will not make Muhammad a bad person, right? I mean, if he is crazy, but what make it a crazy to follow a crazy? <laughs> you know what I mean? If this guy is mentally ill, it's not his fault. He is mentally ill. But how in the world any human being, he have a little brain, he will follow such a guy, he is obviously mentally ill. And we can prove that everything Muhammad he do is, is, a, is, a, is based in mental illness. As an example, not only he, you know, like he imagined himself, even his sex was fake. This guy, he don't know if he had sex or not. So his wife, they say, that the prophet, he continued for such and such a period, imagining that he had slept between two brackets, has sexual relationship with his wives. In fact, he did not. So now we are not talking about Somebody, he thought he paid the bill and he did not pay, which can happen to any one of us. We are not talking about if somebody, he forgot when he went to do shopping to buy something, he thought he bought it. It can happen to anyone. We are talking about a guy, he think he is having sex, but in reality, he did not. And the wives have no idea. There is a movie, I advise you to watch it in the one is, if you want to understand Muhammad. The movie is called The Perfect or Perfect Host. First time I saw this movie, the first thing come to my mind is Muhammad. This guy, he write letters to himself. He have people in his table, but they are not there. He see them. He see women. He kiss them. He touch them. But they are not there. In this scene here, he is dancing at the top of the table because he thinks there's, there's a lot of friends there. This guy is a criminal. He was running away from the police. He stopped in the front of a house because he want to hide. He said to himself, let me look at the door of those people and maybe I can get in. He looked at the mailbox. He found letters sent from the girlfriend of this guy. I don't want to like damage the movie for you, but just to give you an idea. So he opened the mailbox. He say, you know, like the, let us say the, the girlfriend, her name is uh, Fifi. So there's a letter from Fifi to this guy who is dancing on the table. 
But this guy here, he never thought that this is a fake letter. This guy is writing letters to himself. He have no girlfriend. He sent letters to himself. <laughs> he talked to himself. He invited friends to his table. He see them in the table. He danced with them. He have sex with women who come to his house. But in reality, there's zero person in the house. Watch it and laugh at Muhammad. Here we go, Muhammad, explain where the sun goes. But suddenly, Muhammad became a scientist. Muhammad explained to us in the Quran that where this, what happened, the sperm will became a dead blood and the dead blood became a baby. And now the Muslim they claim this is science. Sperm coming from the backbone and the Muslim to, to duct tape that, they say, oh, the, the backbone doesn't mean backbone. Uh, obviously, this is the wrong translation, brother. Uh, uh, the Prophet, he says, uh, a, solb, a solb obviously means the, the penis. Even the word solb means the heart, the bone, idiot. And here we go, we got a Muslim calling us, saying to us, well, the Prophet, he was saying those stupid things because at that time, people were stupid, brother. I mean, is that a defense or this is a, a guilt? So at that time, people, they were stupid, so he decided to say stupid thing for them because they are stupid anyway. And because they are stupid, we cannot say to them something smart. This is his, his idea. Do we have any Muhammadan? All right, we will not keep you longer than this. Already we are here for an hour and 27 minutes. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope my voice today in the Skype was good. I noticed when I spoke to this guy, uh, you know, this uh, in the Philippines the last time, my voice was very low and looked like Skype was missing up my microphone. Because I was looking, you know, it goes up, it goes down. And I was wondering why it turned to be like Skype have an auto Skype or have an auto control for the sound. So I disabled that and I think today is better, right? Yeah, this is why you sometimes you hear me when I talk, you hear the guy who's speaking Skype, his voice is higher than me. Which is not right. You know, because the stupid Skype was controlling my microphone and lowering it down. Yeah. Anyway. Um, well, very good for India. I love Indian people. You know, you see here we serve people around the world, and we serve the Muslims too. We are not against the Muslims. I'm not against the Muslims. Even the Muslims I know they hate me. All those who left Islam, you know, they left Islam because simply they understood that this guy, Christian Prince, he don't hate us. If they, if they think I hate them, that their reaction will be different. But they understand very well that we are not here to hate them. We are here to save them from such a silly, stupid cult. You do not need to duct tape a prophet if he's a true prophet of God. This prophet of God, he cannot say two sentences without making poo-poo. And now the Muhammadan, especially those who they are making business, the bully people, if you expose their prophet, they bully you. They, don't, they can't even refute you, they bully. You speak against our prophet, we will bully you. Who care, bully? Islam is dying and dead. And actually, the more bully you do, the more people leave. The more people notice that you are just a fraud like him. You are trying to cover the fraud because you're a fraud. 
a truthful person, he will be truthful with himself. Well, this is what Muhammad said. You know, if an atheist, he said to me, Christian Prince, is it scientist or scientific to say that Mary, she was a virgin and she gave birth? Am I going to say yes, it's scientific? I will say no. No, it's not. Do you see how we are truthful in our belief and they are fake? Who cares if the atheist, he want to believe? No, it's not saying, I agree, this is not scientist, not scientific. That's why we call it miracle. I'm not following science, I'm following God. Why the Muslim cannot be truthful says, okay, this is what our prophet said, and you know, this is what our belief, like it, like it, don't like it, no. Instead, they try to fabricate their prophet teaching, they try to switch and break and bend to make it fit with science, when the truth is the opposite. A true believer is a believer, and no matter what, it agree with science or not. Science, they say, oh, before I, before I, I forgot, one of you, he sent me this website, not he sent me the website, he, he sent me a, a text and he sent an image. I did not, I do not open image or links. So he sent me this. He says, in Pakistan, they found a rock. Uh, the rock, it says, Bismillah, not, uh, and the rock age is 195 million year old marble. No, actually in Turkey. How the Quran says the earth and the heaven created in six days, and Muhammad, he says, he created the earth in Saturday. And then you say, you must agree that the, the marble stone is 195 million year? Is that your prophet here making poo-poo at your rock? What we will do with this now? Not to forget that the word is not what, it's, what they are saying, but let us go and see what Muhammad said. This is your prophet, and this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. The first thing Allah He created, the first day, He created the clay on Saturday. Which day? Do you remember uh, Zakir Naik? They asked him about the Quran says six days. So how you say Big Bang? He said, Brother Thitar, Brother Thitar, the Quran says six days, but six days means six period. Six period. You stupid idiot. I think you got your period. They can say their lies, they duct tape things, but we get them busted because we know all the laundry. Here we go, the laundry of Muhammad, here we go, the underwear of Muhammad in front of us. Allah the exalted, the glorious, created the clay in Saturday, and he created the mountains in Monday, in Sunday, and he created the trees in Monday, Okay, we continue. And then the sun in Wednesday. And then they go to us and they say there is an article that they found a rock. And the rock, it says, Bismillah, 195 million years ago. And now let us look at the rock. Where is the word Bismillah? I want to see it. Any Muslim can tell me where it says Bismillah here? Let me type for you the word Bismillah in the screen, so everybody will laugh at you. This is Bismillah. As it's written in the Quran today, not the original Quran. Where is Bismillah? Let us compare. Where is Bismillah? Let me highlight The rock for you. <laughs> Where is Bismillah? What's wrong with those people? Anybody can tell me what is Bismillah? 
Who is a Muslim can help me? And not to forget here, actually, there's there is something here. There's a white here too. Where is Bismillah? I don't know. This is nothing. I mean, do you see how even they try to fool people? A guy, he found Allah name in the zucchini. The other guy, he found the cat doesn't walk on the, the cat doesn't walk in the Quran. No, it don't. Proven scientifically, brother. And then one of you sent me, you know, this video, you know, here. Very handsome cat. Sent from, uh, you know, galaxy number seven or whatever. Yeah, brother, the cat doesn't work in the Quran. No way. Yeah, the cat now, she is looking at the Quran. She is serious. She is afraid. Yeah, she is looking at the Quran now. Oh, the, the cat is walking in the Quran. Now she is standing in the Quran. She's taking her time. But remember, nobody can walk in the Quran. I mean, nobody. <laughs> and then uh, this, uh, I don't know if I told you, I decided to hire this cat to work with us. Uh, uh, she applied, you know, now because she became famous after the video. Uh, I told her that you cannot really work with us if you don't wear like professional clothes, you know. So she sent us, uh, you know, for the interview. Uh, she, wore, you know, she wore a tie. The tie is very cute, actually. I mean, this is really a nice tie. Look at this tie. Let me show you the tie how it is. I need to go down. Yeah, I mean, the, it's really nice. I mean, this is a nice tie. I think it's an expensive one. See? Very nice tie. Professional. Desperate. They cannot find their God in their book. They try to find their God in a rock. In a zucchini. In watermelon, the reaction of the dog to the adhan. What about you explain to the dog the adhan and then he will die laughing by saying, oh. Anyway, it's time to go. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope we have a good time with education. As usual, feel free to download my videos. They are for free for everybody. And uh, let us help more Muslims to leave Islam. Islam is a stupid cult, as you see. And duct tape will not work. You cannot fix a religion like this with duct tape, with all duct tapes in the world. Good luck. See ya. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Muhammad is an idiot. And we prove it every day. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun.
that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 